Well, hey, my friends, it is a winter wonderland outside. We woke up to crazy snow. I'm thinking there's at least a foot that flew overnight. I could be wrong on that, but yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> and I'm thankful that we are home today. We are tucked up inside and we are going to do some fun things and I have little people, little people coming to recycle some drawings all the way in the back. So anyways, thought we would take you along for the day and just share with you all the fun things that we have planned. I am doing some laundry today, washing bedding, kind of didn't plan on doing that, but needs to get done. So I'm going to do um, the bedding today and we've got um, some really fun things planned. So thought I would take you along with me for this day. I'm going to start some lunch and we'll get started. So I've let the dogs out and they have kind of ruined my pristine, lovely snow. Um, they are running right back into the garage. They are not interested in being outside. <laughs> so, oh dear, they're getting into stuff. So we're going to start out with my grandma's um, cutout cookie recipe, and this is something that we do every single Christmas, and it is just one of those recipes that I couldn't go buy Christmas without making. So we're going to start on this because the dough actually has to chill for a while. Little babies, come here. Mommy's friend made you guys a gift. So you close your eyes. Audrey, open your eyes. <laughs> you take your ribbon off. Your initial on it and a little gingerbread girl. Can I try it on? Yeah? Okay, let me help. No, you. no, I can try oh. it. Oh. So, do not we... make a cookie. Pure vanilla. My father was purple. <sighs> Ooh, that's brand new, I guess. Sure. Not 
There, good job, Cole. No flowers left behind. Some of the flowers' friends are gone. Kissing. Look, the eggs are kissing. Why are you getting a shell? Cause do you want a shell and you get the no. Let me get it. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, yeah, I got it. No, I think it's still... you got it. To get the shells. There's an egg everywhere. What? Whoa! It's gonna turn really dark. Whoa! Mommy's turning it up. So update, we have made two batches of our cutout cookie dough. They're in the fridge right now because they do need to um, chill so that we can roll it out and cut everything. It's 3.30 right now and I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to get the cutouts done before tonight. Like rolled out, cut out, cooled, frosted, that whole nine yards. They're a long, a long cookie. But I've got dinner in the crock pot. We're having roast chicken so who knows? We'll see. Um, we are going to start on jam thumbprints right now. That dough only has to chill for half an hour, so we will be able to finish those tonight. And I like to use Ina Garten's recipe for that. Um, they turn out so delicious. And then I think we're going to do another cookie. Either I'm toying between the idea, this is not a cookie, but um, brownies with um, chocolate frosting and crushed Andy's mint on top, because I'm really wanting some mint brownies. Or we're going to do like a chocolate cookie with some frosting and then a sprinkling of crushed, um, uh, what is it, uh, peppermint bark on top. So I'm not sure. And we can make peppermint bark too. Got all the stuff. We'll see. We got a lot. We got a lot to do. So a friend of mine just stopped over and she had to pick up a Scentsy order. I had a Scentsy party um, in October. And we were just now getting together to get her her order. It, she <laughs> she braved like the crazy snow today to come. Anyway, she had a little gift for me, which was so sweet. But um, there was this adorable um, Christmas card, which totally goes with the kids' aprons. And then um, there was this little pouch. She sells 31. She's like amazing with the company. Um, and so there was this travel pouch, which I absolutely love. And then, I'm not really on Facebook much anymore, but the cover photo I I made on Facebook um, says um, that this verse, Hope um, is an Anchor for the Soul, um, and it's a nail file, but they have the cutest little nail files with 31, and I can't see myself actually filing my nails with it because they're just too cute. And then she gave me two other things. Okay, so she gave me a set of measuring cups. I The other ones are in the sink, actually. Um, I have only had a half cup measure and then, you know, quarter cup, third cup. Um, because my one cup measure, the handle broke off, and Shane was using the one cup to measure dog food. So 
every time I bake I always have to use this half cup and I'm doing like a lot of calculating in my head and today like one recipe called for three and a half cups of flour and so I'm like dipping in seven times to get you know the the flour that I need so anyways I posted about that on Instagram recently and she saw that and she um, blessed me with this wonderful set of new measuring cups so that was so cool and then there was a bookmark um, a magnetic bookmark from 31 and Aubrey's actually already put that in the homeschool classroom so anyways that was just so sweet Sally I don't know if you're gonna watch but you just bust my socks off girlfriend so we are in the midst of baking um, a brownie peppermint cookie and so yummy. yeah um, so we're gonna um, get those in the oven so we can have them for tonight I just went to go unlock the door for Shane. Um, he should be home by now. Uh, and I noticed that the neighbors across the street were pushing their car into the driveway. So our subdivision has not been plowed at all today. And the snow is so deep. Um, I don't officially know how much we've got, but really it's probably at least a foot. It's a lot. <laughs> um, so. Anyways, I'm just waiting for him to come home. I have our roast chicken in the crock pot. I'm going to pull that out. Um, I'm just finishing up the chocolate cookies. And then I'm going to throw the thumbprints in the oven. Yeah. I feel bad for everybody who had to go out today. Because it was it's really, really bad out. There were a lot of accidents. Lots of things are canceled and things like that. Um, so I'm just praying my husband's okay on his way home because he travels um, these highways and they're notorious for accidents like death accidents. Um, they're really twisty and turvy. Already this morning there was a semi that was jackknifed on the one road that he takes so um, yeah, hoping he's going to be fine. He carpools with a friend and the friend has snow tires so um, my husband isn't driving. Anyways. I'm not really that worried, I'll be honest, but you never know. Hey friends, I am going to wrap up the vlog here. Um, today was not without its kind of chaotic moments at points. I think and I hope and I wish that 
the day would pan out like I had planned in my mind, like, but it doesn't, it never does, and sometimes I just need to learn to accept that reality, that it, this is life, and it's not going to be as pretty as I hope it would be in my mind, um, and I think sometimes I need to just, it's just that reminder to let the perfectionism go, um, and to know that things are going to happen and people's attitudes are going to come out. Sometimes it will be my own and sometimes I will be the one that's like in the sane mode and everybody else is going crazy. Um, for the most part, it was a really great day and the kids and I had a really nice time watching Rudolph. Um, Shane was actually out shoveling the driveway um, and it was so deep and so bad that he ended up calling a friend who just came over and plowed. Um, it's about, it's going on 9.30 right now. And the main plow just went through about quarter to nine. Um, so they, I, they just were not plowing side streets today because the snow was just so bad on the main roads um, that we just now got plowed out. And of course, when the plow comes through, it pushes all the road snow into your driveway. And we got between one foot and two feet of snow today. I don't know the exact amount, but that was for sure one foot, but people are saying upwards of two feet. And the temperature feels like minus 20 Fahrenheit. Um... I know I'm in Canada, but I was raised on the Fahrenheit system and Celsius. Um, I have my phone set to Fahrenheit rather than Celsius because, you know, when you know something well, you just you stick with it. So yeah, my phone said it feels like minus 20. Um, and tomorrow's actually supposed to be colder. So yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that was just a little peek at my day today. Um, I am going to watch Home Alone. I have got... Um, I got my drawer open of my night, my, what do you call it, my stand, but I want to show you this, um, oh, this wine glass, so this is not wine, this is actually Zevia, it's like cola pop, but it is this hand-painted, really beautiful glass, wine glass from Pier 1, oh, I hope I don't spill, <laughs> my arm is moving in a way it shouldn't be. Um, I got that a couple years ago, and I got it to, like, have my Christmas drinks in. I don't drink wine, um, so I got it to, like, hold Pepsi or whatever, but I don't drink Pepsi now, so I use Zevia, and, yeah, it's just kind of a festive, fun thing, and I've got a bowl of Chex Mix, and I'm going to watch Home Alone, fold some laundry, work on my Christmas planner, make sure I've got plans finalized for everything, um, Shane and I are going away this weekend to the States, to Michigan, um, and I've got packages to mail out and all kinds of things to be done in the next few days, so lots of good things. Um, thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys really soon. Hope you're doing really well. Hope all your Christmas plans are coming together and you are just really enjoying this season. Hang out with me over on Instagram if you want to keep up with a little bit more of my day-to-day -day life. Um, I try to share Instagram stories and a post like at least every day or every couple of days. Um, anyways, I'll stop rambling now. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good night and I will chat with you soon. Bye.